Hey everyone, and welcome to Apple and I was Genius on the YouTube channel. Um, today, <clears throat> I want to do a run on AST run on my iPhone 6S Plus. Uh, hot weather in Chicago, and uh, temperatures went up to 90. Used it in my car for a little bit, and say about 10-15 minutes, my car, inside my car was probably close to 100. Uh, and uh, of course I got that wonderful screen that pops up when your temperature or your phone is overheating. I have to jump in my photos here, see if I can, uh, if it pops up right away. If not, then I'm gonna have to, uh, oh, there it is, yeah, actually. So this is basically what I get. There you go, oops. So it needs to cool down before I can use it, so forth. So since that came up, uh, I understand that the phone is overheating and so forth. Yeah, okay. No problem, I had to cool it down, but I want to run an AST on it just in case to see if it's going to show up anything. So we're going to go ahead and minimize this and open up Safari. We're going to go on over to my GSX account. Uh, oh, look, there's an update. Apple introduces Mac 21 inch. Oh, these are the new iMacs uh, and the new keyboard and numeric keyboard. So this is an update that we normally get. As uh, certified through Apple, we get notifications of what are the new things being released and so forth and etc. So we're going to mark this one red. What else is there? Uh, Apple introduces MacBook Retina. Uh, yes, okay. So there's an update on that as well in the 2017. Just basically goes through the details and so forth. Um, Mark that as red. Apple today updated the 13-inch MacBook Air. So the 13-inch MacBook Air, uh, when it was released, uh, there was probably just uh, an update, a minor update or so forth. So what we normally do is select on more here, and then it breaks it down for us. Even though this is not really part of the video, part of the video is pretty much doing a GSX on my uh, iCloud um, for my overheated phone. So basically, this just talks over the details of AST will be updated and available today on GSX, Atlas Training. Oh, so the training manuals have been updated as well for this book, uh, for this product, and so forth. So actually, you know what? I'm in GSX. I don't really need to be in GSX. I have to actually go to uh, Apple. Oops. Diagnostics is the site that I need to go to. So, hmm, it's not even here. So let me erase this. It's on one of my short links here. Bear with me for a moment. Uh, I wasn't really prepared for this video, and I don't see it. App develop sites. Oh yeah, and I'm also trying to create a, a here Apple development sites to create our own iOSs. So there'll probably be videos as well in regards of uh, Xcode and Swift. Here it is. So this is basically where I need to log into. It already has my credential, it's gonna validate. Let me uh, open up my screen sharing here. So you can see my phone all the way from the beginning. So here's AirPlay. Oops, wrong one. Connected to my Apple TV. All right, here we go, 5K Mac. Should appear in a moment. There we go. So there's my iPhone. Here is the AST2. We're going to minimize that. 1273 is my password. And of course, this is just a one time password. So, in case you already got it, uh, it's not going to really help you. So, it's going to ask me for my serial number, which it normally does. Um, if you have any questions or comments you want to run in your device or so forth, session for device has been archived. Yeah, that's fine. Um, if you're having problems with your phone and so forth, we can do this completely remotely. You provide me your serial number, you tell me what's wrong with it. I can run a video uh, if you like uh, and then tell you and show you all the details of what's wrong with your phone and etc. So, okay, so now we're going to go to here, general, then it goes to about. There goes the serial number right there in the bottom second row. So it doesn't really matter if it's capital or lowercase because if you don't have caps lock on, it still puts it capital. So either way, uh, G778, 
fgr x5. And then we're going to put here custom reported issue. Uh, let's put temperature. Oh, there you go. Temperature warning. It's right in there. So now we're going to run this. We're going to have to do a setting on our iPhone here. And uh, let's see what results, if any, reports of what was going on. So here we go. So when you do a temperature warning, it gives you every option, or just pretty much every option. I can't say it does every option. Uh, but when you run these options, you have to run them all independently. Uh, you could run the MRI, which is the Mobile Resource Inspector, which basically goes an overview of everything on the iPhone. You can do that and just make sure everything is working. And it looks, looks like my iPhone is trying to be shy. So it moved over here. I actually went to the sleep mode. That's why I popped over to the center there. So let me get out of here. You don't uh, technically have to change the display for the timeout to be from 30 seconds to never, but I just do it in regards to this video. Uh, there's a call performance you want to put. There's a battery usage, analyzes uh, usage information, audio, cosmetic, check, ba display backlit and color, display image, display pixel analysis. Uh, I don't know if this would work. Uh, I know the one of them, I think it's a pixel anatomy. Uh, nah. oh, can't say it, but you know what I mean. Uh, it basically just flashes the screen like many different colors, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's a multi-touch where it's, you can also, there's also another way to c calibrate it. So it'll tell you to touch in certain parts of the screen and it'll recalibrate your phone. So that's pretty cool. You can't recalibrate your phone on your own. Uh, there is not, you know, we can do this right now. Calibrate. Uh, no, calibrate my sprayer. Calibrate powers. Yeah, so no, you can't. Uh, full diagnostics. All-in-one diagnostic suite that performs a series of hardware and software tasks requires iOS 9 or later. That's about six to eight minutes. Uh, battery health checks the battery condition, battery health and audio. So basically it just overheated because the car inside my car was about 100 degrees. So we, we'll just run the mobile uh, resource inspector. And this is just pretty much like the, the basics overview. You can hit this little uh, I and then it expands it. So it just goes through short tests, verify hardware functionality. So just to use during initial triage for all devices. So you want to go ahead and click this arrow. Uh, we're going to see about uh, what this shows and then see if we can go a little bit more granular on uh, the any issues that may have pop up. Hopefully it doesn't. It's uh, it's only about two years old or a year and a half old, but let's see. So we run this and now it says to reconnect the device to AST, navigate to settings and then privacy. So I'm using on my iPhone 6s Plus is running uh, whatever the latest version, which is 10.3.2. So we can re-verify that with you right now. Um, there it is, 10.3.2. And what we have to go here is right down here under general, right above the iTunes app store, you have the privacy. So you want to select on that. And then from there, you want to select on analytics, which is normally near, near to the bottom. And here it is. And then once you touch this, a window should open automatically. Touch that. There it is, right in the middle, start diagnostics with Apple support. So then what you want to do is just go ahead and touch that. Then it goes to another screen and it says, oh, are you sure you want to run this? This is pretty much where Apple tells you or the representative um, at the Apple store will say, well, could you read this? This is just, you know, we're not collecting information from you or anything of any kind of data. Uh, you know, nothing of nothing. So we don't know who you're calling, who's in your context, what websites you've been surfing and so forth. That's all encrypted. So now we just go ahead and hit agree. It shows right there, iPhone 6S Plus. Shows my serial number. Uh, before it didn't really show this, it was just like uh, running mobile resource inspector. That's pretty much it. I can hit skip if I wanted to, but skip is just going to uh, not really do anything uh, except skip out of the screen. You can select show more, and then it shows you diagnostic history. So now it says no history, but if you look on the left side, something did pop up. Sensors, temporary, temperature history. Check whether the device has experienced thermal warnings in the past two weeks or since the device was last restored. Uh, device was last restored close to maybe a week ago. Uh, the device has experienced thermal warnings in the last two weeks or since the device 
was last restored. Well, it was restored, and then it was restored because I wanted to just start from scratch. Um, my uh, earpiece wasn't working when I restored it after I went through the troubleshooting of Diagnostic Console on the GSX as well. It told me to do search and steps. I did it, didn't work, and then I was like, okay, told me to restore. I restored the device, and my earpiece started working. So it was like kind of muffled at that time. Uh, we can do another video on that, and I can show you on how to walk through how what the little individual steps will show. But now the testing has been completed. So here, pretty much on your phone, when it says waiting for support, you'll just hit X, and you can do end testing. You don't have to end the testing, but that's really the only way for you to get back to your screen because I can, if you can hear, I'm tapping my screen and nothing is really happening. So you just press the home button, get out of that. If you wanted to get back into it, it's technically gone. So right there it says room, resume the diagnostic support session if you wanted to, but Apple already has their stuff. So this is what I received. So there's a question mark on the temperature sensor. So we're going to hit I here in the little center here. This will open up more detail overview. Uh, it's not going to go really granular unless I go through that process. So I selected the temperature warning. Um, so about the device, I can hit this. It'll show you the uh, baseband, the usage, the serial number, how many cycle count I'm on. I'm on 594. Normally it's like a thousand. Uh, and then when you're close to a thousand, that means eh, it's about time for you to replace the battery. Um, everybody's phone is different. It has different cycles because depending how much testing they did with the device before they put it in the box and shipped it to you, uh, it would have two or three cycles already on there or six cycles on it. So that's pretty much it. So my Apple Pay went fine. Uh, the battery condition right now is in the green section here. Normally it would be like up here in this little upper left hand corner. Uh, so it's because I've been charging my phone a lot. That's why it uh, it's, has been moved. So let's see, we go into the Bluetooth. Fine, camera, fine. We're gonna skip sensors for a moment here. Uh, services, uh, last backup event. There you go, 6 7 2017. So it's technically, what are we on? We're on the 13th. So it's technically six days ago is when I restored it. And then when I restored it, I did a backup of the device on the same day. Here, restore from backup history. There is none. Now, if I ran this a diagnostic test prior to me restoring it, it would appear there. Uh, then you have software. Software just tells you what software, if it, there's any crashes or so forth, but that's it. Touch ID. Uh, and then lastly, here down here, you have Wi-Fi. Uh, but let's go to the sensors. So now we're here at the sensors, and it says these uh, five sensors pass with no problem. But there is an issue here where it's time spent with warning met display. It's two minutes. Okay. And it did probably say about two minutes or so. So what I did, I turned on my... I turned on my air conditioner in my car, and then I just put the phone right near the air conditioner. As it blew out, you know, blew the cold air to the phone, that's when it brought down the temperature. Or else it would probably been longer than two minutes. Number of temperature warnings, I only had one of them, which is true. And then maximum temperature your phone should take, the maximum per se, is 128 degrees Fahrenheit. So, uh, just so you know, in case you're outside and it's 120 10 degrees and you jump in your car and you kind of wonder, hey, why is my screen say uh, temperature warning? Well, kind of think of your car is consolidating all that heat, making it into a super sauna, and now your phone is kind of overheating. So you should open the door, let the hot air in, out, and, uh, you know, turn on the car for a moment, then lower your windows or, or turn on your AC. Uh, that's pretty much why. So that's pretty much the details of what the issues of this. Now, say for an example, um, I'm going to hit done here. And uh, if I can hit the arrow, oh, nope, sorry. Not what I want to do. Uh, what I wanted to do is do another diagnostic, but I just want to do it on the battery itself, just the battery itself. So we're going to hit this. Since we're still selected in the 6S Plus, I don't really have to enter, re enter the serial number. Uh, the reason why I want to do the symptom, and so forth. So now I can do here, battery usage, analyzes battery usage information uh, to help maintain the causes of battery drain. Well, we're not having a battery drain issue. I want to do a battery health, which is right down here, second to the bottom. 
uh, battery health checks the battery condition. This is pretty much going to show me the other result where you saw the green, yellow, and red little squares. So let's go ahead and run this. Uh, this will take a moment. We go back into our privacy under settings, privacy, and then you want to select an analytics. This opens up. Actually, it still shows resume support session. All right. Yeah, see, it still says the same. Uh, on the older version of GSX, uh, I mean AST2, it would just give you a whole new diagnostics. Um, let's just close all my windows. Not that that should be in any relation to the issue. Bear with me, I have a lot of windows there open. Um, so now we're just going to go into your settings. And then from settings, and it goes back to resume. Um, let's go back to here. And it's prop, and I'm thinking they may have changed the AS2 because now it's a new version. AS2, AST2 had two or several different versions prior, uh, but it was an AST um, process. So now where were we going? We're going to general, uh, then we're going to go to privacy, then we're going to go scroll down to analytics. And yeah, I keep saying, okay. So basically what they changed is that I can't really do additional diagnostics. I'm gonna actually get out of this completely. Um, it'll still have a recording that there's a pending uh, request or so forth. So we're gonna go here and then we're gonna back out. There you go, archive. And then you wanna go ahead and run the serial number again, uh, which I should have copied it, but oh well. 638QG778GRX5. And then we're just going to put here, instead of temperature warning, we're going to put battery uh, health or usage discharge, charging and battery, swollen battery, poor. Oh, yeah, you don't want a swollen. That's going to be expanding your battery. Poor battery. Um, let's see if we keep typing what it. Show me something else. Nope. Uh, we'll just say battery life. Okay. Uh, let's see what that will show me. And every time you pick a different option in here, it gives you different selections. Okay. There we go. Oh, why are we getting a warning? We didn't really run any tests for cancel or skip. Yep, that's true. Uh, it just kept it. Diagnostics. There we go. Um, it's kind of, I, I don't really use this as much, but uh, you know, we learn as we go. So basically, there's battery health, check the battery condition, battery usage is recommended, uh, analyzes to help identify main cause issues of battery drain or this information. We're just going to go ahead and battery, uh, we're going to do a triage on the battery health. So let's go ahead and select that. Now we're going to go to back to our settings and then general, I mean settings, then privacy. And then we're going to scroll down here to analytics and it should say, no, it keeps saying resume. No, oh, there we go. So what we had to do actually was different. Uh, now we had to interact with the phone, hit the plus sign and say, hey, go ahead and run this now and run this now. Uh, before you didn't have to do this, it was all done through AST2 diagnostics. Uh, this is different now that I know how this works. Uh, now instead of hitting, res uh, when you hit resume, then you have to hit the plus sign to allow that specific test to be completed. So now it says waiting for support, you pretty much exit that. But if I go ahead and say test complete, I can go ahead and end this or what it, what it shows already is delete there you go all tests completed you want to close it so now we have about the device we have battery condition you see the white dot is still pretty much in the same area it says full charge capacity is at 85.54 percent uh now my software my software is my os version it's 1032 i am current if i didn't have the current version then it would give me like a little yellow flag saying oh the, you need to update your iOS. They always recommend you to go to the latest iOS. You technically don't, but technically every new, OS, new 
iOS will just have an update to fix whatever that previous problem is, even though it may not even be related to what the issue you might be having. So that pretty much goes for me in how to run a diagnostics uh, for your iPhone 6s Plus or any iPhone that you may have out there. Uh, you can, if you want to send me a message, that's fine. If you just want to put it down there, and if you're saying you're having problems with your phone, but you're not sure why, or maybe Apple did not tell you why or so forth, uh, you know, I can run your serial, I can bounce it back to you, and then I can show you the details either in a video or just do screenshots and send it to you. Uh, you know, and do it that way. Or, you know, I can do a Dropbox. That's pretty much what I do. I do a Dropbox and I just share the folder and then you just go for that. It's a, a Dropbox email that I don't use, so I don't check it. I don't monitor it. So if you put anything in that Dropbox, I'm never going to look at it and never going to know that anything's there unless we have some kind of type of communication that we know it's there and so forth. But other than that, that's it. All right. Well, thanks for visiting Apple Dollars Genius on the YouTube channel. Feel free to select the like button to show that there's people that have interest on this specific video or this type of diagnostic run through and so forth. Uh, feel free to select subscribe. That definitely helps out uh, to have more subscribers, more people that are interested in viewing this information and so forth. Uh, and then definitely put in a comment down below if there is something that you have a question about, like say, hey, can you run a diagnostic to do uh, back, backlit screen, can you do uh, calibration, can you do et cetera, et cetera, you know, uh, sure, uh, why not, we can always try it out and see what works. All right, again, thanks for visiting Apple Iris Genius on the YouTube channel, and have a great night.